It's already happening. Well, yeah, no, no. You, right. It's already happening, but not to the extent that it will be happening. I mean, it's getting there. You don't look down the street and see a crime all the time, but it's going to get to the point where you look down the street and you see federal cops lined up. That's how bad it's going to happen. Yeah, agreed. I mean, um, I hate to scare people. I mean, I'm not in it. I'm not saying, oh, my God. You know, have a set of skills. Have a, that's that's have a what's very... Yep. Th- have skills, have land, get a land patent for the property that you own, preferably. Now that that's going to help you, you know, in the long run, you have to stay diversified. Ride the wave of Wall Street because, listen, we're we're living in very unpredictable times. You know, ride every wave you can. Diversify, diversify, diversify. That's in my opinion. Gamer girl loves people, you for. How are Listen, you? Don't be scared. It's not so much. I wish I could help people understand this. Imagine Do you the really think Imagine that the federal scared. cops and in the event uh-huh. of the collapse will be out here protecting the normal civilians? Or do you think they'll go where the money and the food and the security is? They're going to go to the money and security is. They're not going to be paying attention to what we need. They're They're going to be helping themselves, saving themselves. Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, look, but that's the thing. But that's that's a horrible outcome for people to be completely you know uh defiant of any sort of cooperation with one another but you know how, what else can I, imagine... but like i said you know the diversity of information mm-hmm. flow has led to this kind of increased stratification in society the fact that we don't want to talk to one another everybody just has different opinions now everybody has access to the internet you don't know who is uh, politically affiliated with what what your neighbors truly are who has you know look at it like this here's what i'm telling people look at this we don't even know who created bitcoin check this out today 2022 our federal government is allowing a a money source to be involved and we don't know who did who bitcoin where bitcoin came from but why are we why are they allowing you see what i mean it's already messed up from the get-go it's already wrong. We don't Darpa. know who created the money is coming and going. They just lost a trillion dollars the other day. It's coming and going. Come, who's taking that money? It's coming and going. Nobody knows. Nobody questions it. We just keep going on in life like as if nothing nothing's the matter. Darpa. And it's reality. You know. Darpa. <laughs> I would say all of my emergency food supplies that it was DARPA. Well, somebody's doing Who somebody's owns Federal doing Reserve? Uh, who, who owns the Federal Reserve here? Are you going to see Jews? Because let me tell you something. I know nobody, maybe maybe about a couple of people, that uh, that are you know Jewish and they do work in these higher echelons of society, but they're very respectable and very smart people, and they're very I mean maybe they're conniving in some respects. I wish I went into investment banking, you know. Um, if you look I, it up I, on I'd the love internet, to steam. You can even use Google. Right next to it's, it's Rothschild Bank. Well, I don't know him personally. You know, I wish I did. Uh, maybe we can connect on some level. I could shoot him an email. Uh, but, you know, the Rothschilds are people. You know, you guys can find out where they are. You're talking about how they own everything. Talk with them. They're business people. You know, go go cater one of their events. It's so, But it's you know? so spread out. You will never, we will never be able to even – it's beyond that, Rothschild, yes, but you can never get to a Rothschild. Never. You think you'll be able to get to one. But there's so you can just up. just just be a be a credible person, you know. You, you just can't Trust be a bum. You can't you walk to them and be, be like. Able to get there because they have J.P. Morgan. You know how much fraud J.P. Morgan put on a suit. Face. They have. <laughs> well, you can meet with them. Seriously. You might be able to meet their front men, but you're never going to be able to meet the people who actually make the choices. You'll never, you'll never see them. Even if you met you know, pick your Rothschild, right? You're not going to be able to have a meaningful conversation with them. It's going to be like a quick one minute, if that, fucking, hey, how you doing? Maybe this is what you can do. Fabricate uh, an ID, 
you know, and, and say that, hey, listen, my that's name that's is Carl Rothschild. That's I'm Carl Rothschild. Ro Ro I'm related to you. Let's talk business. You know, I, I was kind of the Ill illegitimate child by your mother, Bertha, because their family trees are all posted in online. This is some espionage stuff. I'm really hoping somebody's taking notes here. Take the it's notes. Like, it's, it's like I say how uh, Elon Musk. I'm going to bounce so you can get somebody else in the box. All right, Joe. It's good to talk to you, brother. We'll talk later. Love you, Joe. It's just how they say how Elon is the richest man. I mean, yeah, he's rich, but the people who invest in him, the companies that have invested in him are the wealthy people. We don't know who they are. We will never know who those people are because it's none of our business. Um, he's a prop. And he's wealthy. Well, that's the thing. It's it's our decision to, to say that it is our business. We have to be coercive about our demands. We don't live in a democracy. And if we do live in a democracy, it's still terrible because most of the population are stupid. You know, we can't. I mean, you guys support the idea of democracy only in an educated population. Is it valid? Nick hates yeah. you, Carl. I'm reading the comments. Nick does not like you. Is Nick a big donator? <laughs> it's because of my nasally voice. That it's because so of my nasally voice. They're imagining my face, and it's a type of face that they hate because they're associating it with a person that they know in their own personal life. But I'm letting them know that it's an illusion. It is an illusion. What's okay? up, I'm a good, good person. Hey, what's up, I love man? these talks because these are, these are awesome. These can are... you hear me? Yeah, I can hear hey. you. What's up? How you doing? What's on your mind, bud? Oh no! I just seen the conspiracy talk, and it's like, let me join in here real quick. What are you guys talking about? Anything and everything. <laughs> talking about you. Yeah, talking about you, man. About me. Yeah. Well, I don't trust <laughs> anything. Anything the government be be saying. Welcome to the team. And I really was failing you when you're saying democracy. This ain't a democracy because it ain't. It's not. No, it, it never, is. It really Un is. No, it is, unfortunately. Because, oh, you know, I mean, you have limited options. Don't get me wrong. You, this, this, is, this is a democracy, but we have limited options. And unfortunately, most people don't want to register as independents and, and uh, vote for some very specific politician they'd rather just vote for whatever is being largely advertised but there are limited options if everybody didn't vote if we had a good population that just just fucking thought about certain shit uh, th thought about stuff wrote to their congressmen and had valid pro proposals we can change the country it just it's requires a massive amount of traction okay it requires support we don't have the Carl. movement. There's no movement. Carl, it's not a democracy, and if it was just a pure 100% democracy, that would be terrible, because that's essentially mob rule, right? So what we have is a constitutional republic, and we're supposed to have representatives that we can help hold to account, but the problem is we can't hold them to account, and the other problem is not capitalism, it's crony capitalism. So you have lobbying, right, and you have right. representatives. That's what we have. So we have this perverted inverted version of a constitutional republic i don't even know what the fuck you would call it at this point no no lobbyism yeah, is definitely a major a corruption right lobby lobbyism without a doubt is something that has to be uh, displaced from our system one way or, or another and um you know it's there's a variety of issues you have to give people uh, you have to give these rich people something to care about you know they live in their own little bubbles they don't feel associated with the united states on a personal level, you know, most billionaires are not nationalists, uh, they're globalists, so um, and rightfully so, you know, they, they don't have any reason to be, you know, clinging to the United States as some sort of core of who they are. I mean, because they don't utilize the government in the same ways that most of the population does, you know, to us, it serves a purpose to them, you know, they don't have to, fl they don't have to be on the highways, like everybody else if that makes any sense. And so they're trying to impose laws that more or less rectify these national boundaries. They don't see a use for it. Whereas people like us all the way on the bottom do, you know, and that's, that's it's really where there's a tug of war in many ways. Yeah. Hey, so, oh wait, he, yeah, I got somebody else who wants to jump. 
been here. Um, All right, let me. I'm gonna hop out. I was gonna see who wants to who wants to volunteer. All right, Zeus is good to talk to you. All right. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like that. I I just think people uh, are just blind. What's up? Open. You see shit going up, on. Fellas? You see all this shit going on. All like for the COVID, for instance, and you're telling people, and they just don't want to hear it. They don't even. What care. about monkeypox? Is well, that really an I'm epidemic at this point? I'm in Massachusetts right now, actually. Yeah, I don't know about monkeypox. I don't know. I don't believe nothing. No, Anything it's an... that comes on the news, I don't believe it. They're already starting to do lockdowns and shit. It's the, you know everybody. You guys know thought... anything about the the World Health Organization meetings that are happening right now? Uh, uh, obviously, you do if you're into conspiracies. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, they're literally trying to give them the power to dictate what countries should do uh, based on like different pandemics or different health issues. Right now, each country can still make their own decisions. Right, which but yeah, they're... that's what it says on paper. But if you don't follow guidelines from who, they're just gonna stop doing trade and stop letting people. Funding, yeah, you're gonna get cut off. You're gonna get cut off from the UN. The, the other 195 nations that are in the treaty or whatever they want to call it. It's pretty, not crazy, but it is what it is. I mean, I saw something about Biden's not gonna uh, force a quarantine on monkeypox yet, but at the end of the week, he's not gonna even be able to have the power to. Yeah. Everybody in the chat, go follow this account that I just tagged. This is my other podcast, and we're trying to get that sh- that channel up to a thousand. So, go follow Infinite Rabbit Hole down there. Appreciate it. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead, boys. Yeah, they uh, they did the whole COVID thing, and then they just stopped it out of nowhere. But it's coming back. They're gonna come back full force. It's crazy because I'm at the point where I don't even believe COVID is real. Bring it. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. My girlfriend, her father just traveled out of the country and he's triple vax and he just got COVID and he's freaking out. And I'm like, what was it for? How many times did they test his ass? I have no clue. I mean, and it's he's stupid because I asked somebody. tested for every, every time he gets sick. About how they test for different variants, but like supposedly you it's it's pretty much what the symptoms are afterwards delta or some shit or if you if you lost this or this uh that was omicron or whatever i'm like i don't think that's how diseases work you don't fucking get to figure out what they were after you catch them you know what i mean yeah it's not like i get cancer and then it's like oh well that was a you know cancer of this because you lost your leg or some shit like it's like it should be off the jump not just like before and after you know what i mean I wish but, boys could I don't know. The kitchen right now. Oh my god, it smells good. Woo! Sorry, I'm cooking a fucking whole ass plate. It, it is fucking. My boss asked me a question earlier too because he thinks I'm a big, uh, well, not big conspiracy guy, whatever. But he asked me, "Who do you?" question bro i mean oh fuck i'm burning the house down everybody fuck shit it's secret societies secret societies run the country sorry sorry some asshole put this smoke detector right above the fucking oven so as soon as you open that shit every time bro every time obama and schwab i heard a little bit about schwab recently but i don't know too much about him well, I don't think he's yeah, no, that's what I told him, uh, Nick. I told him it was Zionist Jews, and uh, he just didn't. He doesn't really have no comment on that, but he thinks I'm a anti-Semitic Jew hater. <laughs> I think that's too easy of a cop out to be completely honest with you, man. I think it's some interdimensional archon entities that run the. But you know, I think it might be some kind of Jews though, because it's kind of crazy how there's like a lot of famous Jews and stuff. Yeah, I, I think, think it's. Uh... I think cop. it's definitely like, Drake, like Drake, you know Drake's Jewish. Here's the thing, bro. That's Satanic. like that's like saying uh, Trump or Biden is the Antichrist, right? It's just an easy cop out. I don't. Know. It's definitely like some type of satanic evil presence, 
running the, the whole just, world. They're just a way to order. Just a way. Eating babies. They're drinking blood. They're fucking. Because I saw some stuff. Torture and shit. The Pope you know was kissing a, a Rothschild's hand. Yeah, he, he always was, does. Yeah, but you got to kind of... thing. If we know their name, if we know who they are, if we've ever heard their name or seen their picture before, they're not at the top of the pyramid. Period. Yeah. We're looking at we're looking at henchmen, right? We're looking at district managers, right? Those are the people's names we know. We don't know who the CEO of the shit is. You know what I'm saying? Or the owner. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Yeah. Oh, supposedly there's three popes too. There's a white pope, a gray pope, and a black pope. Yeah, I mean, but even that, right? Like we've heard of the black pope, so that's not the highest level. I guarantee whoever's at the top of the pyramid, we have no fucking idea, and we never will, right? That and that's done on purpose. Yeah, why would they let? Why would they let his identity be available? You know? Well, now they're teaching uh, conspiracy stuff in school, like. Um... I guess they're doing like an anti-conspiracy like agenda in in high schools, pretty much teaching kids about conspiracies and what to believe and not like basically what they are. So that you know, I saw that somewhere. And to like, them. That means that they're not going to teach kids about like Operation Northwoods, where the Joint Chiefs of Staff signed off on blaming the Cubans for a false flag attack, so we can go invade Cuba because that's a real conspiracy, or like weather modification because that's real, right? Like, where are they going to draw this line and be like? They, 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 that's the thing. It's just a cover your own ass, basically, kind of thing. It's ridiculous. What do you that's guys how I feel about it. regular vaccines? Vaccines uh, are not a joke to some extent, but they're, they're what you call it. They're, they're more dangerous than they are good to, to some extent. Experimental ones, COVID vaccines, bullshit. Um, we gotta be, we gotta be careful with this because they'll, they'll knock this fucking channel off real quick for talking about this topic. I agree. You, trust ever, me. you ever see a, a video? What the fuck is the guy's name? Um, a Ross Shield? Ross Shields? Nah, nah. It nah, was no, like, I was just kidding. Uh, you know, well, Bill Gates is, uh, you know, his ass. He's he didn't just come up from making the internet like everyone assumed or whatever his his claim to fame was. He was actually pretty much positioned to be where he was at. He didn't just create Microsoft out of nowhere. He, you know, his bloodline was already established way before that. Yeah, yeah. Um, 100%. Oh, uh, silent, silent, so, silent weapons or some shit like that. Fucking Zuckerberg, silent Elon. Weapons of a quiet war. You ever see that? Yeah. No. And the dudes breaking down, like the history of vaccines and uh, like smallpox and and uh, polio HIV and AIDS. how this shit came yes. about. Check that out. That shit's dope. Uh, I've seen a little bit about uh, a lot of that stuff. Like I said, I, I'm, I, what I've seen in like some of the, uh, some of the images and some of that's so why I'm like, people could be for it or against it, but I know like from what I saw and basically the stats that I seen, I'm like, yeah, it's not cool. Like, a lot of people got fucked because of those things, and I don't want to be one of them, and I'm not gonna try to uh, tell anybody else to do it because I don't want to see them in that same boat. Yeah, yeah. More people catch diseases from from, you know, let's this just say mushing. Guy said, "Behold a pale horse." That's a great book, dude. William Cooper. Yeah, Stop that's giving a good book. Money, people. Do not give me your money. Don't do it because I'm not getting it for one. TikTok's not. Good. I don't want it, right? I don't need it. Go, go buy a fucking veteran a sandwich or something. Dude. Don't give me your money. You guys can give me a coin. I, I never got a coin before. I don't know how that works. I, I, I'm like I said. I don't really. I, I go on live a few times, but I don't really like I said. I'm not really in it for the to, to become TikTok famous or nothing. Just get bored. I, I started I this like, account just to podcast, right? So, like, I'm just here so that somebody sees the name Shadow Band Podcast, then they go find Shadow Band Podcast and listen to it, which I, I'm not making money on that. It's like my baby now, you know? So, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's just crazy. I don't know what's going on in the world. I know what they were saying earlier that Lady uh, Zeus or whatever, basically, how like, She's not going to be able to see it, but supposedly by like 2050, they're going to have a whole new like world set up for us. Nobody's going to be able to agree on anything at some point in the near future. So 2030, 2050. 20, I mean, they say 2050, so 20 agenda 2030. They're trying to pull that off by then, right? So only a few years away, and then you got people yeah. like saying that the singularity might happen before 2045, where we're all merged with artificial intelligence. 
You know what I'm saying? They got documents out there saying that they're going to own the weather and weaponize the weather by 2025, which, I mean, 2050 just seems like a long ways away. I think they're going to – they're pushing for now. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, I mean, by, they, by, by – well, that's what they say, by 2050. Guard down right now. Maybe the whole depopulation uh, plan will be reduced. That's probably what, what they were saying in that shit I was watching. But – I believe it because they're going to put – everyone's not going to be able to agree on anything. The whole LGBT this and that, identifying people as this or that, it's going to get to a point where nobody can keep up with what's going on. Nobody's going to know what's right and what's wrong, and then they're just going to be like, boom, we're going to set a sh- uh, He left, I guess. No, he got suspended for uh, authenticity and integrity, it said. Oh. He just got. I said it. I said, talk about some of these topics. They will nuke the fucking channel. And there they, there he goes. That wasn't me. That was. It's crazy that that just goes to show you right there. They're always listening. Always listening, bro. Always listening. Hey, listen, man. I gotta get out of here. My my food is done. I almost burned the kitchen down. Everybody saw it, right? So I gotta go in there and check on the rest of the dinner. Because if if the girl gets home and the food's not ready, I'm sleeping on the couch. You're in trouble. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, <laughs> but hey, you have a good night. Yeah, I appreciate you. Man. I'm gonna give you a follow. That way, you know, we could talk in the future. I'll probably do another one later. Yeah, no doubt. I'm proud All right, of you guys. too. Sounds good, man. All right. All right, guys. Go find the show. Like I said, Shadow Band Podcast. Check it out. Make sure you're following here. Make sure you follow the podcast, dude. I'm telling you. Listen, on Memorial Day. On Memorial Day. I'm talking to Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong's coming on the show. You know, Cheech and Chong, right? Yeah, Tommy's coming on the show on Memorial Day. So that that episode will be up probably the day after Memorial Day. So if you want to hear me and Tommy Chong talking mad shit about the lizard people, go find Shadow Band Podcast. It's everywhere. Videos are on Spotify. Check it out. Infinite Rabbit Hole. Here, I'm going to pin this again one more time. You guys got like 30 seconds. Follow this account too. Down here, Infinite Rabbit Hole. Cast, you know, get into all kinds of other shit, UFOs, cryptids, whatever, right? Dinosaurs are fake, all that good shit. It's all there. So follow that, follow that, find the show, find the show. That's it. I'm going to try not to burn the kitchen down. I'll see you guys later. Peace.